Right now, a hacker somewhere is listening to your phone calls, without your knowledge. They know what you said, who you talked to, and even where you are. And the scariest part? You've been hacked, without downloading anything. This is not malware, this is SS7. And it's terrifying. Understanding SS7 vulnerabilities is crucial because it impacts everyone who uses a phone. The potential risks are enormous from personal privacy breaches to financial theft. Real-world implications include identity theft, unauthorized access to sensitive information, and even tracking your movements. Stay with us as we dive deeper into how SS7 attacks work and how you can protect yourself. SS7 is one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities ever discovered in mobile networks. It's a flaw that has been lurking in the shadows for decades, posing a silent but significant threat to our privacy and security. Hackers use it to silently tap into your calls, texts, and real-time location. They can monitor your every move without you ever knowing. And here's the chilling truth. It's not patched, not fixed, not even properly acknowledged by many telecom companies. SS7, or signaling system number 7, was developed in the 1970s to handle call setup, routing, and billing for telecom networks. It was a revolutionary system at the time, it was discovered to be vulnerable in the early 2000s, sending shockwaves through the telecom industry. The realization that such a fundamental system had flaws was alarming. Despite initial reactions, the vulnerabilities remain largely unaddressed. Many companies have failed to take adequate measures to secure their networks. High-profile cases like the hacking of political figures and celebrities have highlighted the severity of SS7 exploits. These incidents have shown just how vulnerable we all are. In this video, I'll expose how SS7 attacks really work, breaking down the complex processes into understandable terms. The exact tools hackers use and the methods they employ to infiltrate your personal communications and what you must do to protect yourself. From simple steps to advanced techniques, I'll cover it all. Welcome to my channel, the only place where you'll learn how hackers think, act, and attack, so you can stop them. Let's get started. Stay tuned and stay safe. SS7 stands for Signaling System Number 7, a protocol developed in the 1970s to help telecom networks talk to each other. Back then, security wasn't a priority, trust was. But today, hackers abuse that trust to launch silent, unstoppable attacks. SS7 was never designed for a world filled with cybercriminals, and yet, it's still being used by almost every mobile carrier worldwide. Despite its vulnerabilities, SS7 remains integral to global communication networks. Once a hacker gains access to an SS7 gateway, through a rogue telecom provider, leaked credentials or even insider threats, they can intercept text messages, eavesdrop on phone calls and track your GPS location in real time. And here's the shocking part. They don't need physical access to your phone, they just need your phone number. Let that sink in. Just your number and you're compromised. Hackers often bribe or coerce insiders to gain access to SS7 gateways. In one notable case, hackers exploited SS7 to track a high-profile target's movements and intercept their communications. These attacks aren't sci-fi. They are happening in the real world right now. Hackers use real tools like SS7 Maper a powerful SS7 testing tool. This tool is designed to test the vulnerabilities in SS7 networks. SS7 Maper allows hackers to send and receive SS7 messages, making it possible to intercept calls and messages. It's a tool that can be both a boon and a bane. Wireshark to analyze SS7 traffic. This tool is widely used for network troubleshooting and analysis. Wireshark captures and analyzes network packets, allowing hackers to monitor SS7 traffic for vulnerabilities. It's a critical tool in the hacker's arsenal, Sigploit, a full SS7 exploitation suite. This suite offers a comprehensive set of tools for exploiting SS7 vulnerabilities. Sigploit provides a range of tools to exploit SS7 vulnerabilities, enabling hackers to perform various attacks. It's a one-stop shop for SS7 exploitation, Open SS7 and Open Source Signaling Stack. This stack is used to interact with SS7 networks. OpenSS7 provides the necessary protocols and tools to interact with SS7 networks, making it a valuable resource for hackers. It's freely available and highly versatile. And Kaylee Linux plus IMSI catchers to track and identify SIMs nearby. These tools are essential for mobile network penetration testing. K 
Kaylee Linux combined with IMSI catchers allows hackers to locate and track mobile devices by their SIM cards. This combination is powerful and effective. These tools are readily available. Some are even open source. This accessibility makes them both useful and dangerous. That means anyone with the skills can launch these attacks. The barrier to entry is lower than ever before. The ethical implications of making these tools available are significant. While they can be used for legitimate security testing, they also pose a risk if misused. It's a double-edged sword. In 2017, German hackers intercepted SMS-based two-factor authentication codes to steal money from bank accounts. In other cases, intelligence agencies have used SS7 flaws to track journalists, activists, and dissidents. This isn't just cybercrime, it's surveillance warfare, and every mobile phone on the planet is a potential target. The broader impact on society and the economy is profound. So, how do you defend yourself against something you can't even detect? It might seem daunting, but there are practical steps you can take to protect your digital life. Step 1. Stop using SMS for two-factor authentication. SMS is vulnerable to interception and can be easily exploited by hackers. Instead, switch to app-based two-factor authentication like Google Authenticator or Authy. These apps generate codes on your device, making it much harder for attackers to gain access. Download the app, set it up, and scan the QR code provided by the service. This will link your account to the app securely. Step 2. Use encrypted call apps like Signal for voice and messages. Encryption ensures that your communications are private and secure. Download Signal, set it up, and start sending encrypted messages. This way, even if someone intercepts your messages, they won't be able to read them. Step 3. Enable airplane mode when not actively using your phone, especially in sensitive locations. This prevents unauthorized access to your device. Step 4. Use a VPN to mask your IP and confuse tracking. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it difficult for anyone to monitor your online activities. Download a reliable VPN app, set it up, and always browse securely. This adds an extra layer of protection to your online presence. Step 5. Don't give your phone number easily. Be cautious about sharing it, as it can be used to track and target you. Remember, it's a backdoor hacker's love. They can exploit it to gain access to your personal information. Still, remember this. You can't fix SS7. Only the carriers can. This is a vulnerability in the network itself. So your goal is to reduce exposure and encrypt everything. Use encryption tools to protect your data from prying eyes. Follow these steps to enhance your security but be aware of their limitations. Stay vigilant and keep updating your security practices. The SS7 threat highlights a crucial point. No matter how advanced your phone is, it's only as secure as the network it operates on. And that network was designed in an era that couldn't foresee today's cyber threats. Stay informed, stay encrypted, stay vigilant. If you found this video insightful, like subscribe and share it to raise awareness about mobile security, because the next time someone says I have nothing to hide, a hacker might be listening. Stay proactive.